Hey again guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Walt Moore, also known as Dan Wilson. Welcome back to the channel. And had a few errands to run today. Just got back in a few minutes ago. And just like always these days, anywhere I go, I'll run into somebody who says something like this. Hey, I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> well, that's why we do the videos. And a guy I ran into about a week ago, checked out one of my gutter cleaning videos, and the guy says, Hey, do you, I guess you clean gutters for a living, don't you? <laughs> I said, no, not all the time. It's just stuff I work on around the house here. So I'm not a professional gutter cleaner, but I just do whatever comes up needs to be done. And guess what, guys? Just a few minutes ago, I had to run out for a little bit and get a few supplies and ran into one of my subscribers <laughs> nothing wrong with that i appreciate all you guys subscribing to the channel uh she doesn't want to mention by name on camera she says she gets embarrassed being mentioned by name for whatever reason so okay whatever um but guess what i heard from her just a few minutes ago when you gonna do part two of the yard light video i guess right now might as well okay guys few days ago got the old conduit and wire in the trench I didn't take time to uh, do video on that part of it because it's just absolutely boring <laughs> there's nothing exciting about bearing conduit and wire but I got the trench backfield there it is and over this way I got well I got the old Werner eight foot step ladder out once again I gotta climb up that son of a gun there <laughs> Over here, guys, got the conduit. All run up the pole. Right there it is. All the way to the top. I tell you the truth, my eight foot ladder, I can barely reach it. But there it is. Well, I guess let's go up the ladder, see you guys what I'm dealing with here. Hope to God I don't fall off this ladder and break my neck out here. Okay, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ladder started to sink on me a little bit there. Here's what we got guys. This right here is called the mount arm for the light that I'm getting ready to install. It's a mercury vapor light. Be putting up here uh, as soon as I get it worked out. So I'm getting this thing mounted. What I'm using here for attachment is some six inch long lag bolts or some people call them lag screws. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> it's whatever works. And that's what it's getting attached to the pole with. Here on the other side I got one over there too. These things, guys, are an absolute bear to put in there. It's not easy. I'll show you here in a minute. What I've been having to do is use a deal called the breaker bar. Get these suckers in there. I tell you guys, my climbing days are about over. I have one guy I work with once in a while. I think he's maybe part monkey. The guy can really climb good. He's going to get up on ladders. and I kind of laugh. I make a little joke out of it. Uh, he loves eating bananas. <laughs> anyway the guy's a great climber he's a pretty good dude but myself i have a little problem with heights these days i get old it's like i'm a little unstable these days but anyway he's a good climber and a good helper all right let's get back off the ladder gotta watch my step here and we'll go get the breaker bar so we can get these screws in there a little farther and here we go guys here is the breaker bar you gotta just put this thing on here and I mean heave ho on the breaker bar. Oh there, oh of course, and then of course, hit the camera with the breaker bar. There you go, monkey brain, all right. <laughs> I'm up here where the crows fly, guys. I hope no pigeons fly over. Anyway, that's the method, guys. I put these uh, lag screws or lag bolts, whatever you call them, in there. Notice I put a flat washer on the end of it there. That'll help uh, make that a little more secure. Guys, now I'm at the other end of the uh, connection point over here. This yard light's gonna feed off one of my outbuildings over here. It's a building, building I built myself several years ago. Kind of a storage type uh, facility I got here. And inside there, I got a very nice breaker panel. So right here's where the conduit comes off of the ground on the other end of it at the uh, shed over here. So I'll be running this inside the through the wall right here. So I pop a hole in there and uh, get the wire inside there. And I'll show you guys on the inside where I'm hooking up on the uh, on the breaker panel in there. Another thing, guys, we use this electrical stuff here. In case you don't know, this little doohickey right here is called an LB, 
Why is it called an LB? It's kind of like the letter L turned upside down like that. The B part is because on the outgoing side here, it's on the back side of it. That's what the B stands for. So this basically means L back. Now in some applications, you'll have one that maybe the outlet side comes off the right hand side over here. We call that an LR. You can get one called an LL, which means that the out outlet side is on the left hand side there, depending on what the installation is requiring. So in this case, we need an LB. It goes around the pipe there. Of course, I'll glue that all up when I'm darn good and ready to, and we'll get that wire run inside the building here and hooked up on the breaker panel okay guys here i have the lb of course we're going to need a good torpedo level to have right here and the old trusty pipe so i gotta trim this pipe off a little bit down here to make this fit up at the right level and everything and of course gotta have a good screwdriver so what i need to do here is take the cover off the lb just got a couple of screws in the back side here Got to just back these out, and we do not want to lose these, so as soon as I get this worked out here, I'll just set these down. Off comes the cover, just like that, simple deal. For the time being, guys, these screws go back in the hole here, so they do not get lost. If I let these drop on the ground, they're very hard to recover. So next essential thing to have here is a good Sharpie marker, like I got right there. Take the little torpedo level. Let's try to get some kind of a level line on here. Get me in the ballpark anyway. Take our marker, get a, a line going here around the LB. So I think our next move here, guys, we need to get our pipe length worked out. So right there looks pretty darn close. So we'll go ahead and cut the pipe off here on the mark on the top right there. Now guys, a little pointer here. When you cut your pipe off like that with a saw, you need something like a good utility knife, like what I have here, or you can use a round file, whatever you have. What you need to do here is get all the burrs and stuff off that or else it will not glue up properly. I'm going to take the knife here and knock all the burrs and stuff off of that, just like this, inside as well, like right in there, and get all that stuff off of there. That looks pretty good. The other end here is a factory end, so we're good on that. Okay, guys, the next thing we want to do here before we glue up, we're going to need to do what we call a dry, a dry fit. And we're going to fit all this together first before we glue up and make sure the length is correct. So now I've got to slide the wire back in here and get it out of the LB like this. Give it a little bit of a curve on the end, and we'll just pull and pull and pull. Okay guys, what I have here is a good hole saw and my new Black & Decker 18 volt drill I just purchased about a week or so ago. I'm gonna use this to pop our hole through the wall right here and hopefully no problem. popped in there and see if it's gonna fit up correctly yeah pretty darn close I put some silicone on that sooner or later so yeah that did the trick and guys it's time to get the glue and we'll first glue our stub up down here at the bottom okay some glue there a little bit of glue down in there slipper down in there Okay guys, time to glue up the LB. Here it goes, for better or for worse. And we gotta get it on there quickly and get it straight. Okay, right there's looking pretty darn good. Yeah, it's going right in the hole, just like it needed to. We are right on the mark, level-wise and otherwise, right on it. Need to give the pipe a little quick wipe off here my shop towels. We're going to have glue showing all over the place. And time to get the wire inside the building. Carefully. Shove it on in there and when I get back 
on the inside I'll get it straightened out once in there okay real fun part guys getting this wire tucked inside the LB we just gotta bend and push and bend and push till it goes in like it's supposed to Got one more little shove right there and the wire is inside the LB okay guys once you get the wire tucked in there inside the LB so I was telling you before those little screws go back in the hole there we're not ready to put the cover on so I done it just like this and I'll be taking this cover back off again. I'm about to run out of daylight here, guys. I started too late on this today. What I'll do tomorrow or the next uh, sunny day, we'll just pop this cover back off. I'm going to run a screw through the LB into some wood I have inside there to get this fastened down securely. But for right now, I just want to get the wire inside and hopefully up in the panel yet today. And I think we're looking pretty good. So as you saw, I got the uh, pipe cut the length here. Glued up there, glued up there. Wires inside the building now. Cover back on the LB. Everything nice and straight and very professional looking, which is the way I like it. Well, guys, now inside the outbuilding here. And I'm going to show you guys here a nice breaker panel I got inside here. That is a Siemens brand panel, which is among the best there is. I installed that in here a few years ago and got all the wires all hooked up there so I got a new breaker right there I just popped in there that's what I'll be hooking the yard light up to eventually I'm gonna show you guys too in this case this is actually what we call a sub panel and in this case it's not required to have a main breaker shut off it's not too far from the main distribution panel and so it's just a main lugs only they almost took my finger too far these lugs are hot right now it's this whole panel's hot if you guys get into something like this, keep in mind that when your main breaker is on or wherever your source feed is coming from, these lugs up here are hot. This entire bus bar down here is going to be hot all the way down to the bottom. So if you try this kind of stuff on your own, guys, watch where you stick your fingers. Don't be getting shocked. <laughs> anyway, guys, the panel cover is back on, and right there is the circuit breaker for the yard light. Right now it's turned off because during the daytime I don't need it on all day. This makes it very convenient to turn the light on and off whenever I need to. And good news is I didn't get shocked in this procedure, so <laughs> all is well. Now I'll take you guys outside here in just a minute and have a quick look at the old yard light. Anyway guys, there is the yard light. You zoom in just a little bit here, get you a better look at this. There it is, fully installed and fully functional. Great way to light up the night. I have yet to get a new globe for it, which is uh, going to be sooner or later. And a quick thank you to my nephew, Zach Moore, for being kind enough to install a new photocell up there on the top for me just a while back. Very kind of him to do that. And anyway, there it is. It took some work, but it's on the pole. And that is the same old light fixture I had at my old home place a few miles down the road from here. That light fixture is almost 40 years old and still working. So there it is. Anyway, one thing you guys for checking out the video, for this kind of stuff, be sure and give it a like. And if you have yet to do so, I invite you to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. More videos coming up real soon. Anyway, again, I'm Walt Morrill, also Dan Wilson. You guys take care and God bless, and I'll catch you next time.